mate, you right? Yeah, man. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's hey, go and give wood. Got to ask you a really quick question, though. What's that? Do you put your head out the window and go, me ma, me ma, me ma? Because I actually could do it for a living one, but you can't. So do you just do that a lot? Yeah. Yeah? It's hard. It makes you feel special. Yeah. Do you I wish? Love, I love driving it. Me ma, me ma, me ma, out of way! That's what pretty much I did. So you're basically saying you wish you were me. That's really cool. No, I don't. <laughs> so today, we're going to go and buy some wood. We're going to go get wood today. And we're going to make the bed in my camper. Yeah. And then while you're doing that, I'm going to pretend I've done it all as per usual. I'm just going to go and sand yeah. down some bits in the back of your camper. Yeah, sounds like a plan. And then how far are we away now from actually giving people a date? Uh, not far. We can probably... We can probably sit down over a coffee in a bit and try and work it out for me, I think. Well I want to get like mine painted so I was just thinking I've got some I've got some paint left from home from painting paint the uh, bathroom right. I just thought if I just paint that on the side. Yeah if you, if you want to do that Alan you can do that yeah that's fine. Um, <laughs> but in the reality we still need to paint the bottom half of my van and we need to get the graphics done as well. So Christmas next year? <laughs> So we need to, yeah, we we are doing our best to get it done. We, we are, are literally ploughing in loads of money. I mean, you've just bought for this, like, shed loads. I'm like, just, like, <laughs> spending money. I might as well just drive along, checking out the window at the minute. And, and it, it, it doesn't actually look like I've done a lot to the bag. <laughs> it looks like you trashed it. It looked better before. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the biggest thing of it is, though, we are getting there. Yeah. And we're going to have two workable campers and we're going to be able to start travelling, doing a massive adventure vlogs really soon. And in theory... Just in time for the autumn and when it starts getting cold. <laughs> you know, you've got a heater, I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to plug mine in. But we'll be there. So the most important thing of it is, is that we're going to get the things done that we need to get done today. And then hopefully we can put a date on it. Even if they're not 100% finished, we need to get a date done. So that's our plan to at least hopefully by the end of today get mine completely ready to be usable and I'll just leave you doing bits and bobs in the background. Yeah, right. Well, we've picked up our wood. We've got our wood in the back. Now the plan of it is is the Monkey Cycle camper van Mark II is going to get the beds made today. Obviously the psychic's going to make them and he's going to do all that weird cool and awesome stuff to make that happen. Um what the psychic wants me to do is he wants me to start doing some bits on his van so he gets a proper 11 out of 10 job. So he wants me to do some sanding. He wants me to sand down his cupboards and things. Now, I take it that you want me to be like Sandy from like Greece and uh, <laughs> sit on the side and sing some songs and stuff like that. Um, because when you asked me to come down and be Sandy, it was no, it was I good. To use the sander, sand that down. Yeah, you know you got a sink in it though, right? Yeah, Don't mind if I scratch the top of it. No, I'm gonna take that out. Okay, and you're gonna do a proper job of my beds though. You're not just gonna just not just not gonna bodge it again. What do you mean again? You know what I mean. You're not just going to stick a couple of screws in and say that you're done and sit in the back you do falling a good asleep. Job on my, sending my unit down, I'll do a good job on your bed. All right then. Well, I always do a good job. 11 out of 10. Do you know what 11 out of 10 really means? Yeah, it means like 3 out of 10. No, what it means is it's the, the every man can do it thing, isn't it? 11 out of 10 is almost like there's no frills, there's no anything else. You just do it and it just works. What, the bits fall off and there's things hanging off? Nothing's broken that I've ever done, ever. Think think of it like this, the last camper van broke, who was the last one to work on the engine? You. No, you serviced it. Now I'm worried about this. Oh. Now I'm worried about this, now. Do you no, know what I mean? I said to you, <laughs> sort this van out. No, it'll be fine, it'll be all right, don't worry about it. It'll be all right. You know I can edit that bit out so everybody just knows that you were the last one who worked on it, right? No. <laughs> As you can see, the psychic quite clearly isn't doing very much, but I'm doing lots of hard work. Now, I have literally just fitted the waste pipe all by myself and put that in there, and I've actually tested it and it doesn't leak. So now I have a sink. I'm still waiting for the pump so I don't have running water, but I have a sink that I can wash up and do stuff like that or get the psychic to do it. So 
So as the sidekick is preparing to mount the frame in the monkey cycle camper van, just so he can say he's mounted something in my van that's just wrong in every single way, he's taken back one of the covers on the side. And obviously this being an old school minibus, you know, youngsters don't do disgusting things, do they at all in any way? I mean, this is just minging, look at this. It is literally just being used to pull their rubbish in. I mean, that is that is just absolutely minging. So anyway, as I task the sidekick with cleaning all this out, while I go for a royal poo, um, we'll get this clean, but that is just proper minging. Dude. Yeah? That's not a lot of room for me to sleep on there, is it? I'm not being funny. You're not laying on your side. That's <laughs> like... It looks like you're doing an awesome job, but I need a bit, bit of a bigger bed, really. Right. Are you sure that's going to take my weight? We should do. Okay. I believe you. You'll be able to get jiggy on there. <laughs> jiggy with who? The monkey bike? <laughs> Dude. I'm not into that sort of thing. Not at all. You sure? I'm 100% sure. So what I'm doing is sanding away this bad boy for the psychic, because obviously he needs a proper job doing of it. Um, so yeah, I'm being a real man and doing stuff like that. I've already done these. This is something I did earlier that you see on Blue Peter a, a lot, and nobody else did them at all in any way. So yeah, man's work. So, big moment. This yeah. is your handiwork. Yeah. Yeah. You know it's supposed to be a full size single bed, right? It is. It's just, just <laughs> a bit at the back. What do you mean? <laughs> so if you just move a little there. bit, just there. There, that's it, there. That bit? Yeah. Oh, I'm about to cut that round the seat. So, there's no way, any way that you built this and then realised it doesn't fit and then had to make that bit happen. Oh, I knew all about that. I just set it all up and then uh, I just... Oh, you were just, it, uh, you were just measuring it. There wasn't an F word here or there. No. <laughs> okay. I thought you were about. <laughs> <laughs> but this is it. Will it now fit? I hope so. <laughs> it's, uh... it's better than my camp bed on the floor. <laughs> yes. This is going to be better than your bed at home. To be honest, it probably will. Yes. Look at that. So you hold that, I'll get on it now, yeah? You know, yeah, if I got it now, we'll test it, yeah? So, we've done for today. Yep, well done. So we've got a bed. There's a bed. And you yep. practice bouncing on it for the boingy boingy because all the women are going to come running when I run out of brute. And you can show us how it works. So it's strapped up. So it looks safe good. and secure. It's not going to land on the monkey bike and destroy it, is, is it? it? In its upright position so the bike can go in. Obviously now we'll take the bike out, the bike's out, and now we're going to drop it round, down, so you can have your little sleepy. Has it not got a remote button? Does the bzzz... Because I wanted a remote. No. No. Okay. Shall I just shut up? Ouch. That Did... goes down there. Can you sand it down so they get splint splinters as well? You've put your port potty right in the way, haven't you? It's where, that's where it lives. Feels a bit heavy. Have you been for a number two? I've been for about ten number twos. So we fold the legs down. And boom. Look at that. A full three quarter size um, single bed then, pretty much. That's really good. Do you know what? I need to test it. Right. That's the most important thing. But you didn't just make this. No. So you also, this is the really, really good bit. You've made a bed for short people. For midgets. So five, five foot. You, uh, this is an example. Darren is obviously ten foot eight, and look. Uh, so basically, if any short people turn up, they've got a bed for the night. You haven't made this for you, have you? Because I don't want not. you in look, the same bed. My, my legs are hanging over. <laughs> there are only short people that want to come. Obviously, they can kip in with you, can't they? Right. So we're just just inviting loads of short people. That's a bit shortest, really. Well. My van's longer, isn't it? So I can have a long people in there, you have the short people in here. <laughs> Fair enough. There you go. We've got two beds. It's now a two berth monkey cycle camper. Quite good, isn't it? So I've got to give it a try. We've got to sort the cushions out. Obviously, we've got to cut them to size and do all that. I'll get, obviously, the sidekick to do all that stuff again. But first time try out. Oh. Oh, this is all right, this is. 
Is it alright on the bouncy bouncy? It works alright, doesn't it? Yeah, is that going to be alright for you? Once you've done the cushions, yeah. That's not my department. Right, I quite like it. I like it. I'm Good. keeping the light on. Yeah. You can even get somebody underneath the bed, actually. <laughs> you get another short person. <laughs> How short people coming for under there? <laughs> we could call it an, an eight berth. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Well, it's all right. I'm quite comfortable. I could sleep in here. It's obviously once the cushions are cut and it becomes the full on passion wagon and I light a joystick and one of those smelly candles, I could quite easily chill and fall asleep and dream happy dreams and all that. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. So I just want to take the opportunity to say a massive thank you to Aaron, Daryl and Bruce for their massive support and donating towards this. We're getting it done as quickly as we can. Everybody that helps support the camper is going to get an exclusive invite to be able to hang out with us. We're going to go somewhere. We don't even know where yet, but we are working on it. Now, the plan of it is next video is to get the sort of yellow paint done on the bottom part of the van. And then hopefully we can get some graphics ordered and then we'll be able to set a date. So I really hope by the next video, I'll be able to say to you, that we've got a date we're going to go and see the people that's helped make this happen and it's a way of saying thank you so hopefully we're getting there and hopefully it won't take too much longer